morning. I'm Dr. Whispers and I am here to help you with your eye issues you're having today. So I can see that they are somewhat pink in the whites of your eye and that's what you're here for today, correct? Okay, all right. Give me just a second. Let me look at your chart and I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Um, is the pink, uh, is the, um, is your eyes itching at all or burning? No. And, uh, you currently do not have any allergies that you know of. Okay. All right. Um, now when you wake up in the morning, are you having any, um, buildup of um, matter in the corners of your eyes or right around the lids at all? No. Okay. So we don't think it's conjunctivitis, okay? Alright. Um, have you noticed any problem with seeing on, in your day-to-day -day life? No. Okay, alright. I'm still going to double check that myself. Um, I'm going to uh, do just a little bit of a finger test with you uh, to make sure that um, your peripherals and everything are, are working correctly, okay? Okay, let me see here. All right. With, without using a light, I don't see any um, type of issues other than it does look a bit irritated, possibly somewhat blistered, but more on the lighter side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some drops. Initially, they're numbing drops so that if I do need to kind of touch on your eye, it's, um, it won't uh, burn or hurt at all, and it's not damaging to your eye at all, but I might need to touch them just a little bit just to have a look and see what I can tell. It does appear to be directly on the surface and not um, deep within the eye. Um, so let me just get my stuff ready and give you just a second, okay? And then I'll be right back. I'll probably ask you a couple more questions too um, in just a minute. I don't think I would be too worried. I'm sure we'll figure out what it is. All right. So let me go ahead and get the drops. And once I put the drops in, we'll wait just a minute for them to numb your eyes. And then I'm going to need you to be completely still for me um, as I check your eyes, okay? Alright, or just be as still as you can, okay? All right, you shouldn't feel a thing. This liquid here. Alright, now I need you to look up. Look up, 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 up. Great, okay. Other eye, look up, 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 up. Right one. No. Okay, great. Okay. 
then they're completely numb. Um, and so I'm going to do a sample here with this little device I have. It's going to take a sampling of um, what's on the surface of your eye. I'm going to send it to the lab next door. They should be able to um, give me the results back within the time of me checking you, okay? Um, make sure it's not conjunctivitis, but I don't, I really don't think it is, but uh, we'll check just to be sure, so. directions. If I tell you to move, uh, look around a certain way, or um, do anything like that, uh, just do that for me, okay? All right. So, oops. Okay. I just need you to stare straight. my glasses. Don't follow the light, okay? a quick check of your peripherals. Would you look straight at me? Okay. Um, continue to focus directly on me. Tell me when my fingers go out of your line of sight. Okay. I'm going to start with uh, your left side. So continue to watch me, but tell me when you no longer see my fingers. Okay. 
now I am going to get you to um, look certain directions for me so that I can get an overall view of the surface area of your eye, okay? Right. So, I'm going to start with your right eye over here. I'm going to lift your lid up just a little bit, okay? Right. Just lifting it up. And I need you to look up. You haven't had that, have you? Where your eye just starts uh, to water or tear up and you're not obviously crying or anything like that. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead with your left eye. Alright, I need you to look up, 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 up for me. Looking down at the bottom, underneath the bottom lid to make sure I don't see any type of sediment or anything that has settled. this irritation, it looks pretty equal all over the white of your eye. It's not, it doesn't seem to be centered in any one particular section more than the others.
Okay, that was her coming back with your lab results, and it is not conjunctivitis. So. But we didn't think it was. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to do one more test. I've got an infrared light. I'm going to shine it into both eyes. Um, if there is anything on the surface, floating around on the surface that I cannot see with my naked eye, um, it should come up if it's not just normal eye matter and um, fluids that would normally be on the surface of the eye. Okay, if it pulls up anything that's floating around that is not that is foreign, like a foreign, a foreign object, it should show me that. Okay, so give me just one second. We're going to do that. just going to see a circle of red. It's only going to take a second and then it'll let me know if I see anything. Okay, so hold real still. We're going to start with the left one. See the red light? a little bit of discoloration. I didn't see any objects. But... Okay, you took your contacts out, right? Before you before I came in here. Okay. Have you got your solution with you? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, what solution are you using? Okay. Alright. Um, after looking at your eyes and um, observing what I have. I'm almost 99% positive it's your contact solution. Okay, you just told me that you use a, an off-brand, a store brand of contact solution. Some people's eyes are very sensitive to that. It can cause uh, blisters on the eye, and because the solution distributes itself completely over the eye, the blisters can be completely evenly distributed and make just one pink haze. Okay, like what's happening in both of your eyes. I'm assuming this is the first week you've ever used off-brand solution, correct? Okay. Right. What I would recommend you do, do you have glasses at home? Okay. For the next few days, just wear your glasses. Go home and immediately clean out your contact solutions case and buy you name brand solutions, either any of the name brands, okay? Use the name brand you possibly had before. If you'd like, I have some coupons here. I know it's expensive, um, but um, I have some coupons here if you can use those, but it's really not worth you having this issue with your eyes, okay? There is something um, that is in the off-brand solutions that causes um, blisters and irritation on the eyes of some people. Some people can use it and there's nothing, there's no issue at all. I do believe that's what yours is, okay? Take it one more quick look. Just to be sure. Yes. I'm just positive that's what it is, okay? So, I want you to go and buy you your good brand of solution that you normally use and not wear contacts for at least three days. Then once you do wear them, I would throw away the ones you have and replace them with your next set, okay? Um, and be sure and use the good solution, okay? All right. I think that'll help you if for some reason after three days of not wearing your contacts and uh, this hasn't cleared up, you can come back and see me, okay? Okay. Just let me know. Go ahead and let me know after three days. Go ahead and call the office and let us know, okay? not, uh, we'll get you back in here and do some more tests, but I'm almost positive that's what it is, okay? Okay, thank you so much for coming in, and I hope this is, this will take care of your issue, okay?